Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jake Zakeniko. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look into yet another skill, foraging. You guys have been crushing it lately, so I'm not even gonna start annoying anyone at this point of the video, so let's just jump right in. As you might already have read by the title, I got a guest with me. Since I wasn't level 50 in the combat skill, neither am I in foraging or actually any other skill. This is exactly why I'm going to invite people to these videos that are to then give you their feedback on what it's actually like. Today, we got yet another well-known member of the community with us who doesn't fear the act of grinding for a skill. Menacing Banana. So if you want to hear him out on what it's actually like, then stick around till the end. The foraging skill itself isn't as versatile as the combat skill was. The skill itself grants you increasing amounts of strength for each level as well as a double to then even triple drop chance on the logs that you break. Since you might be here to actually learn about this skill though, here's how you'd prepare to get into the act of grinding for the foraging skill. Pets. You'd either get an ocelot or a monkey pet, whereas the monkey pet would work out in your favor in the long run, but it's rather expensive. Potions. Whereas the foraging XP potion is the only thing that actually boosts XP gain, but speed potions for example would make it easier to farm if you decide to use the regular method. And yeah, that's basically already it. So now that you're prepared, here's the best methods of actually grinding for the foraging skill. And since like I already said, it's not as versatile as any other skill, there's basically only two ways. Minions, whereas it would be the easiest way to farm the foraging skill if we're talking about the least amount of effort. Minions, especially foraging minions, are super slow and normally not even worth using. If you want to level your skill though, minions are actually rather useful since they can take a part in your interactions. The best setup for this would actually be to use your minions efficiently, as you would want them to be affected by the foraging crystal. And this is exactly what it would look like. Instead of fighting for trees in the park, you just let your minions place so you can focus on the chopping bit. And speaking of chopping, chopping is the only other real method. With this, you're leveling your foraging skill by running around in a park chopping down trees. This is rather simple to explain since it's basically already it. You get boosts such as pets and potions to then go to the park and break as much wood as you can. Dark Oak would be the best for that because it has the most wood to chop down on every single tree. If you can't find a good spot though, jungle or acacia is probably a good alternative. Alrighty, so here is the moment you guys have probably been waiting for. Let's hear someone who actually went all the way through of grinding level 50 on the foraging skill. In an exclusive interview with yet another legend, Menacing Banana. I think let's just get into it, right? Yeah, I'll start recording. Should we, should we just, let, let's just freestyle it. Yeah, just start recording, let's just freestyle it. Yep, I'm a professional freestyler, so we got it. <laughs> Hey, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. How do you script an interview? That's like the weirdest part about everything. All right. So when did you hit for a uh, foraging level 50? Uh, I technically hit it two months ago, but four months ago, I was level 46. So I, I would want to say four months ago, but I got really lazy. So I'd say two months, like July. What exactly is the middle? Like what? Wh what would be the middle path of like, of like fifth level 50? Uh, like what would be the middle? It's level 40 to 41 so you basically hit like more than probably 80 percent and then you just stopped yeah yep <laughs> mechs passed right, me right, fair enough. in uh foraging level and it made me just quit i don't know mechs passing me made me just hurt in the brain so i couldn't deal with it <laughs> <laughs> I, I i feel that i feel that all right so what methods did you use i mean it's not like combat for example where you have too much choice but did you go with with like an afk farm or did you just grind it out I actually manually grinded it out. I, I do not like those AFK farms because they're way less efficient. And I mean, right. it was actually like, I did a couple different things than other people. I early on was grinding spruce with a gold axe and a jungle axe because it was like the second best for XP, but the best for money. So I did up to like level 30 something just doing that. Like, I have 1.2 million spruce collected. But with, with spruce? Yeah. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. But then I switched to Dark Oak, obviously, because Dark Oak was just way better, especially once Tree Cap came out, because when they added the Tree Cap oh, to yeah, the game, it, it just made it... Like, if you're doing spruce with Tree Cap, you're basically wasting a lot of your hits because there's just way less blocks to actually destroy. So, yeah. Tree Cap Dark Oak is just the objective best way. And I mean... Back then, I started off using no pet, obviously, but then once the ocelot got added, I used that, and once monkey got added, I used that. So, yeah, that's pretty insane. I mean, I, I couldn't I couldn't imagine doing that like for hours and hours. Like, what was the most difficult bit about it? Because like obviously, if you have to switch and whatnot, or like you probably had like conc like you had other people coming in where you had to move and whatnot, right? Yeah. What was the most difficult thing about it? I would say other people are probably like most definitely the hardest part about foraging and why a lot of people hate it because it's like you know farming foraging mining all of them are objectively just pretty boring 
you know like it's just yeah. like you're breaking yeah. certain blocks over and over so the competition is what a lot of people get really just like mad about whenever they're grinding foraging they are just like oh i can't deal with these people this sucks but i i had i had fun with it honestly i loved i did you, did you have like a youtube rank no when, when when you grinded it no i did not not at the i might have okay. had it when i got the like when i hit 50 i believe but yeah. when i was grinding like the majority of my grinding was done without rank and you can't really forage with youtube rank so i was nicked every time i was yeah. doing it that's exactly what i was asking for yeah yeah okay okay i see oh yeah nicking i totally forgot about that because that would have made it way easy, like way harder yeah but i found the competition aspect of it actually really fun because i'd whip out my level 100 monkey and i would just out sweat <laughs> everyone in the lobby i i, I, I relished mean, yeah. on the fact that people quit because i was destroying them <laughs> And that after you were quitting, but then you came back and made other people quit. I mean, yeah, yeah that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> and how would you how would you do it like today? Like if you'd have to start over again? I mean, right now you have like pets and you have the tree cap and whatnot. Like, would you just do it all over again, like the exact same way? Um, I, I would probably do Dark Oak from the beginning because right now foraging money is abysmal. Back in the day, it used to yeah. be like over a mil an hour from like doing spruce because of the wolf pet being out. But oh yeah, true, true. Monkey pet with uh, probably necrotic wise armor, or not wise, uh, young armor, necrotic young armor because... Oh, you, with mana, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want the mana for the aspect of the end and then run around with that monkey pet and just cut down the dark oak with the tree cap. It's as simple as that. Click the trees. All right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chop chop down, chop down. That's, that's basically it. I mean, did you get bored of it any like at, at any point or whatever? Have you been streaming everything? Uh, I didn't stream everything. I, I did stream a lot of it, but streaming foraging actually was way more draining than just actually doing it. You can ask any of my like co-op mates. I'd pretty much sit yeah. in my Discord and I would grind until probably like 3, 4 in the morning just listening to music. I, I would listen to the same song for hours on end while I'm just talking to Wait, one like of my co-op mates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was legitimately listening to uh, Post Malone Circles. <laughs> Oh for my god. Probably yeah. like eight hours. <laughs> and I was just Holy cutting trees for hours and hours, but I had fun with it, honestly. Oh that that's actually okay, like, like, good point actually, that like, good transition. Uh fun. Yeah, we, we have like these three categories where I will basically ask the, the creator to, to rate it on like a one to five star basis. Like you have like one one star is like really bad and five stars is, is good. Let's let's just jump in with, with joy. How much joy did you have? Like it, it sounded like you had a lot. Yeah, I mean, I personally, I got to put it at a five. I loved foraging so much. Everyone in the comments is probably going to hate on me. Most people would put foraging <laughs> probably at like a two tops. But I just, it, I mean, it, it's yeah. like, it's therapeutic. You go in there, you just put all your worries away and you cut down trees. And you get plus two And you strength. make others quit. Yeah, you make others quit, dude. <laughs> you can't let other people try and <laughs> cut the trees. Got to bully them out of the lobby. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'd be the one who's getting bullied out, but holy cow, I can't imagine. Holy cow. That's yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. All right. Uh another thing is difficulty. Do you would you say like in in uh, like comparison to other skills, what was it like difficult in any way? Like 1 to 5 rated like in, in comparison to others? In comparison to others, I think the competition of it does make it a bit harder of a skill, but mm -hmm. I mean, you're just clicking trees. The, they, the competition right. puts it up to maybe like a two or something, like a two or All a right, three enough, tops, because it's just like, sure, you have the people who are annoying you, but you're legitimately just running around and left clicking a log. That is how hard I mean, foraging yeah. is. Most skills in the game aren't actually that hard. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Back in the days, you basically had like the the, the the switcheroo with like the gold axe and the jungle axe. That might have been like, I mean, hard. Yeah, I mean, you get used to it, I guess. Like, it would be something you'd have to know what you're doing. I guess, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That that one was more like you'd have to know when to use a gold axe and when to use a jungle axe. And even yeah. like back then, you actually I you could out sweat people even more because you could find out where the other player was going to use oh, their God. jungle axe and quickly use your gold your axe to gold cut axe, off yeah. every log from se just separate I mean, them I just quit. and then use your own axe. Holy cow. <laughs> 
you gotta have the mind games you gotta learn like the tree pathing as well to know exactly when it's gonna respawn and stuff oh my god how to win how, how to win foraging just psychology just study psychology and that's it <laughs> yeah holy cow yep. all right and time uh like actually a good point like how much time did you spend actually grinding like like obviously you stopped at, at, at like 46 for a couple of months weeks i, I don't know yeah months but I'd say the amount of hours that you put in is like, I mean, I personally probably put in more than what you're supposed to just because I grinded with unoptimal XP and stuff, mm -hmm. but it was probably like 130, 140 hours for myself. For most players, it would be somewhere from 100 to 120. All right, fair enough. And and, and how, what would you rate it? Like one to five stars in, in comparison to other like skills? Um, it's the fastest manually grindable skill, so I'd say five. The only skills that you're gonna level up faster than that are gonna be alchemy and enchanting. enchanting and alchemy. So yeah. mm -hmm. I, I think that since it is the fastest like manually grindable skill, it's actually pretty pog. Oh, that was fair. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I, I didn't even notice. Yeah, true. Now that I think of it, is isn't forging? Oh yeah, because you have like farming that probably takes longer. Mining, yeah. Yep. I mean, there isn't any other skill. That's pretty insane. I didn't even think of that. But yeah. yeah, alchemy and enchanting obviously cost money. And with wood, even though you don't make that much money anymore, you'd probably still profit from it instead of like lose millions. Yep, exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, then thank you so much for joining. It was a pleasure having you here. I'd be down to do something like this more often. It, it, it's, it's so freaking cool to meet new people, especially if they're not only good on the grinding side of like Skyblock, but also on YouTube. I've seen yeah. you, you've doing you've been doing amazing over there. Yes, I have been. I am the best. <laughs> you are correct. I'm not just good yeah. at the game. I'm the best at the game. Honestly, <laughs> not only the game, the YouTube game, the grinding yep. game. I'm the best at life. Right. Let's be real. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We, we, and I'm we humble. In life. <laughs> Level. F yeah. And I'm humble. Yeah. Exactly. Those 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 sentences fit together perfectly. Yeah. Level fifteen in life. <laughs> Level yep. 50 life grinded only like millions of hours, but then yep. we got the best. All right. Well, then thank you so much for joining. All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for having me. I'm glad that I can talk about my favorite skill once again because if I could if I could forage again if they added level 75 skills and it took like 200 million XP that, to get there okay, I would I mean, still that, do it. That sounds like like something your your demand for that you're the lumberjack and basically start IRL start grinding wood because you yes. you, you can't do it on on Skyblock anymore. <laughs> All right. I I might have to do that. Thank you so much for watching. Like everyone else who who hasn't known him yet. I mean. Obviously, he's the greatest, so check out his channel. It's going to be linked down below. And yeah, I'll see you maybe on the next one. But that's basically it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and have an awesome day.